Hi, this is Cycle 3, Week 18. This is our last week of Great Artists. This week we are learning about Roy Lichtenstein. And he is one of the leading figures who helped start the pop art movement. So here are some of the pictures in your folder. Remember, just put it nice sticky and you will put it back on. But So these are kind of some of the things that he did. Um, he did that. And like this one, and this you can see are actually all the great writers that I've got. So that's where it gets into more of the artwork side of things. Um, I have the three facts written down for you, so I'm not going to read those. But what we're going to do is we're going to make super fun pop art. And it's kind of going to be modeled after this style. We're not going to do the little tiny dots. So. You're gonna, class is going to have two options, and you might have want to have both options ready. For the littlest classes, for sure, I think these are going to be the best. And this is, they're just going to fill in different pictures, and you can have how, however many you want. With, sorry, I scratched my finger. With daubers. So. These are daubers, if you haven't used them. They're actually bingo, but they got became really popular lately. And all you do is you just press down, and it makes like a dot look like he has a big bump on his forehead like that. But, um, and so you can keep going around. What I'm going to tell you is that the ones that we have, these are mine personally, but I bought brand new ones for CC, and they're they are brand new, so they're not started. So you're either gonna need to have a mom, if you have younger kids, just kind of sit in the back and press down on them and squeeze them to get them started for the little kids. If you squeeze too hard and press this down, I don't think little kids will be able to do it, but the bigger kids might, there will be too much paint that comes out, so you need to be careful of that. Um, but, the thing that I don't want them doing with these is this is really like a pop art idea. And so we should be dobbing. So I'm trying to see how you can see this. So we should be dobbing like this. We should not be painting like that. See the difference? So we see the dot versus the paint. So those are those sheets are gonna be for the littler kids. Um, you can use as many as you want. I'll probably give you one per kid, but if you want to um, copy more, you're more than welcome to. The bigger kids will get a um, sheet of paper. As always, please put a name label on the back of anything that they do because these will go in their art folders. The bigger kids will get a sheet of paper, name label on the back, and a pencil. Make sure they're sharpened for the kids. And I just did a quick... Um, drawing of something that I might do. So I said, wow. So then I can take my daubers. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I can, sorry, I'm just doing this quick so you can get the idea. You can kind of daub around and I'm going to put wow. And then around it, I can do different colors. So the goal, right, it's very much comic book style. Um, the goal is to make it stand out, to pop. And um, that's definitely what he did. So that sort of idea of the different colors, I could do it directly on the line like that. So you can still kind of see the pencil through it, which is totally okay. Um, or there's the more the abstract that's around the pencil line that's like this. So there's different ways to do it. Um, there's not really a right or a wrong way, but um, just that idea of the dot style of kind of that comic book um, advertising kind of to catch you. It can be any word, it can be any phrase, it can be a picture of a person, it can be really anything um, that they want to do but just to have that um, idea. Again, I think that 
the littlest class, if not the three classes, might just be better with these. And they can make them more creative, right? You can get different colors, and then they could also daub the whole entire outside as well, which would be really fun. So that's it. Great artists are done. If you have a little bit of extra time, um, it might be nice to review all six of your artists and which ones were their favorites and which ones, um, what do they remember about any of them would be a really great way to end this. And then next week we move on to great composers.